Hey guys, Rusty here. We got this engine back in this Mechum car uh, machine shop. We just had them throw it together because I don't have the time to do it. But the issue is, is after we broke in the cam, uh, we, you know, the timing didn't seem to set right. If you have these engines, you would know that uh, if your timing mark and your balancer don't line up and your balancer is good then uh, it's gonna come down to valve adjustment. So we're getting some tapping over here and even though we broke it in, we could still get some play. We could, some of these we could spin. So if I could spin it, uh, then it could be adjusted some more. Uh, a lot of people do the up and down, but I, I do the spinning. I feel like it's more accurate. I, I've had less issues with it, and we already did the other side. This is the harder side, but I'm coming through here, and there's about five or six. So once we did that side, I, I ran it, and it cleared up a little bit. Uh, but if you if you ever have one of these and you can't get the timing right on a Chevy, uh, just just know that you're probably going to need to pull the valve covers and do just do a valve adjustment because. That'll make the difference on on the timing. It, is, it doesn't sound correct, but if the vehicle is not running 100%, like even the vehicle, like when we were pulling it in and out, had like little power, and this is a big block. So it's like this thing should should be able to move. Um, couldn't couldn't get the timing to zero out. Uh, if you got it to zero out, it was choking. Uh, if you advanced it too much, it's it's still that it, it, there's no power anywhere so once we did the valve adjustment on the other side it cleaned up a lot of it and i already did do a, an adjustment on this side before i did that side but it was like a pre-adjustment and then uh we're still still getting some not even flow but uh so we're coming back over here and there's about four or five of them that i can spin easily with my fingers like i can't move them up and down but but that zero to me zero lash is where I can't spin these and then once you get your zero lash it's just a half a turn half a turn and then you're set if anybody else has any questions on these things I used to work on these all the time and they're they're pretty simple uh, it's it's cut and dry so check us out on Facebook hit the like button subscribe and as always, guys, keep wrenching.